Now, if you're like most people, you probably have certain websites that you like to visit all the time. Uh, you're also going to have a lot of certain school websites that you're going to use on a repeated basis. Things like Moodle and OwnCloud uh, and the Holman website. So one thing that you can do to make these websites easier to find uh, is you can use what's called the favorites bar. The favorites bar is the bar that shows up right here below your address. So if you do not have this bar, it's actually turned off and on under the view menu. It would either be set to say show favorites bar, or if you already have it showing, it would say hide favorites bar. So you want to make sure that you have your favorites bar turned on. So it should say hide favorites bar and you should see all of your favorites listed there. Now, the favorites you start with are just the generic stock favorites, things like Apple and Yahoo and stuff that uh, they have added for you. But chances are those may or may not be the websites that you like to use on a regular basis. If there's a favorite in this favorites bar that you do not need, all you're going to do is going to click and drag it off of that bar. So if I clicked and held down the mouse and drug it off the bar and then let go, it would disappear. If I wanted to add a favorite to the favorites bar, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is visit the web page I want to make a favorite first. So if I go to moodle.psdr3.org, for example, and once I hit return and pull up that page, I'm going to click on the address itself. The website has address that shows in the address bar. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag anywhere in this favorites bar. It'll make a spot anywhere I decide to put it. And when I let go, it's going to drop that right in there. Now, it's going to give it a generic name based on the name of that page, but you don't have to stick with that. I can shorten it up or make it whatever I want it to be. So instead of Moodle login, I will go ahead and just call this Moodle. Let's go ahead and make another one. If I wanted one for maybe OwnCloud or Google Drive, I could go to drive.google.com, pull open my drive, and same as before, I'm going to click on the website address, drag that where I want it to go, and then let go. Right now it's called My Drive dash Google Drive. I'm just going to go ahead and call it Google Drive. Now, anytime I'm using the internet, if I wanted to go to one of these pages, all I'd have to do is one click. It's going to take me right to that page. I don't have to remember the address or punch anything in. One click is going to take me right to it. So these are what they call favorites. Now let's say you made a typo in the name or you decide you want to change the name later. You can right click, which is a two finger click on any of these. So if I right click on one of these, I have the option to either uh, rename or I could remove them that way also. If I hit rename, it highlights it and allows me to change the text. Sometimes what can happen is you're going to fill up this bar with a whole bunch of favorites really quickly. Um, so you can also organize this by using what they call folders. And folders are simply uh, little collections of sites all within one little space within your favorites bar. So the first thing I need to do is show my bookmarks. All right, in Safari, this little button right here is my bookmarks sidebar. And when I click on it, it's going to show me this sidebar. I can click on it again to make it go away at any time. When I click to turn it on, it shows me all the bookmarks that I've added so far. What I want to do is I want to click the edit button at the bottom. To create a favorites folder, I need to first click on the favorites section in this window. Hit the little triangle to open it and this will show me all the favorites I've already created. In the bottom left hand corner, there is a new folder button. Once I click new folder, the folder will be created and I can call it whatever I want. So let's say I made an ELA folder, for example. Once I do that, I should now see an ELA folder right here in my favorites bar. So if I wanted to add a page to my ELA folder, all I would have to do is simply go to that website first. So let's say I'm going to use a website like No Red Ink. And if I wanted to add this website to my ELA folder, just like before, I click and hold down the mouse. This time I drag it on top of that folder and let go. It asks me to give it a name. I'm just going to call it No Red Ink and click OK. And now when I click on it, there is my link. I can even make links directly to my Moodle courses. 
by logging into my Moodle, going to a specific course, and once I have that course pulled up, then click on the address and add it to that folder like so.